this is Vikas from Vijay Genius and today I am with the third video in my Arduino series where we are talking about how to use Arduino and different aspects of it. So today we are going to see how to use the serial ports of Arduino. Basically Arduino uses the serial ports for debugging purpose. Suppose you are running one application in Arduino and you want to see what is happening in the, in the like uh, in real time. So you can just print out the results into the serial port. So you can keep track of what is happening in your controller, right? And along with that, you can use the serial port for interfacing uh, like devices who are having serial interface. So guys, let's check it out. Let's get started. So guys, we'll first see how the default serial works in Arduino. And after that, we'll see how the software serial works by which you can use any GPIO pin as serial input output. So to use the default serial port, you can start with serial dot begin and it takes two parameters like first one is the board right and then you can pa pass the config parameter. So you can refer for these config parameters to the Arduino official website, whatever it takes. By default, the configuration is like 8 and 1 means 8 bit data bit and no parity and 1 bit stop bit. Okay. And here you can vary the baud rates depending upon the device you are interfacing with. Okay. Now to check if you have correctly initialized the serial port, you can simply check serial if serial. So this gives you true if the serial port has been initialized successfully or else it will return you false. So over here you can write simply like serial dot print a link okay so let's check it out so over here you can see it's printed success to the com port or the serial console and over here you have to just take care that the board rates are same so you can see what are the different board rates supported by this console the next function is available so to use it you can simply write serial dot available and it returns the number of bytes available in the serial pool so let's check it out let's type something like here so you can see here it has returned 12 bytes so I passed some string and returned the number of bytes available in the serial code so next function is and and if you have finished with your serial port work you can simply write serial dot and and this what does it does is like it closes the available serial port and that those pins right now can be used as general purpose input output. So the next function is serial.find. So what it does is it looks for a particular phrase whichever we have passed in the function and if it finds it from the serial input buffer it returns us true. So to use it simply you can pass the phrase you want to look for like I want to see for ok and let's pass it to a if statement and whenever it find it let's print one statement serial dot print element now to run it in a loop we will need to comment it serial dot end otherwise it will close the serial code let's upload it See over here, it's just printing 00, zero because over here to create and serial dot available. So let's put some uh, statement over here. Okay. Uh, here, here you can see it has just returned us found it. That means it has found the okay page. Okay. Now the next function is 
serial dot plus so what it basically does is it clears the output buffer of arduino now the next is serial so you can simply write a printer line. So it basically looks for the first floating number that is available in the input buffer. So let's upload it. And over here it will simply write whenever it gets, gets a floating point number. So let's type 521.6. Oh sorry, I just need to comment. So let's type 521.6. So over here you can see it has returned as the floating point number. Let's combine it with a string. Let's say hello 521.6. So let's check it out. If the string combined with some floating number, so let's say I put some garbage number string with the number let's say and again with string. So over here you can see it has returned this floating point number whatever we have passed with the string now the next function is pass int so over here you can simply replace with int and as you know it will uh, return the integer number that it gets passed in the input buffer so yeah it's not required to check it now let's see serial dot print It simply prints whatever you pass with it to the serial console over here. Okay, so you can see over here. And if you want the next statement to be printed in a different line, you can use print align. Whatever you wish over here. Now to read from serial port can use function serial dot read now next so actually what happens in serial port whenever you issue a read command it waits until it gets some phrase out of the input buffer so to avoid that you can use serial dot timeout So you can use set timeout with the parameter time. So it's the amount of time until it waits till it gets timeout. Okay. Next is serial dot write. Write a particular byte the serial port so that's what is the hardware serial port now let's say you are using some devices with Arduino Uno it says only one serial port and you want the by default serial port to be used for debugging so there you can use software serial now to use the software serial we need to include the header file software serial.h and we need to initialize the particular pins which you want to as the serial port like I have defined 10 and pin 11 as the RX text pin for the software serial port and similarly we can initialize using the whatever variable you have given over here with the begin and the border and the configuration if you want other than the default configuration 
so similarly you can uh, just write if my serial is right okay i have successfully initialized students need to prepare then i can simply write dot serial dot print and Okay, over here you can see hello I am software serial that printed. That means my software serial port was successfully initialized. And with software serial you can use other function like my serial port available as was for the other serial port so it returns the number of bytes available in the serial port so guys that's all with serial configuration with arduino hope you have enjoyed it uh, it might have come helpful for you thank you thanks for watching Okay, once again and hope you have liked the video please hit the thumbs up button if you have liked it uh, if you don't there is a thumbs down button for you so as you have seen today we discussed about like how to use serial ports of Arduino and in the coming episodes or coming uh, like videos we are going to discuss other aspects of Arduino don't forget to subscribe my channel for the latest updates guys thank you